Hey guys, first of all, I wanted to say thank you so much to every single person who watched, commented, reached out to me on Instagram, subscribed, liked my last video. Um, I think I passed a thousand views already and that's amazing. Um, within a week, I'm so happy and excited and thank you so much for your support. I really appreciate it. It's really nice meeting a lot of you for the first time and to all my friends who are just along for the ride and supporting me like always. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Today, I have something really exciting for you guys. So I'm not sure if you're all familiar with a brand called Love Shack Fancy. They are an American brand and all of their clothes are just like super feminine and girly, um, a lot of like pink and like lace, um, completely my vibe. It's very similar to Zimmerman, um, Age or Age, Marge, like Sandro Paris, that kind of thing, like very girly, very sweet. Um, but all of their dresses are like 300 400 us dollars each um and they go up towards like 700 or even i think i've seen some for like 1000 us dollars which in australian dollars is crazy it's like the basic dresses that are like 300 400 us come to like 500 600 australian um and then obviously it just gets higher so it's pretty crazy um and i've been wanting to buy a lot of their stuff for so long but it's just so expensive and like you can't i obviously being in australia we don't have any stores here so i can't try it on um and I think, I'm not sure if they do returns or not, but I've always just been really hesitant to buy something. And then earlier this year, they released a collaboration with Target, which is so exciting because it means affordable dresses. So I'm pretty sure they did a range of, I want to say it was 15 or 18 dresses. I think it might have been less. Um, yeah, so they did them all with Target and all the dresses were under $60 US. So I obviously freaked out when i found that this was happening because i could now get love shack fancy dresses for 60 us dollars which still came up to about i think the most expensive one was about 80 85 australian dollars because they were like 40 us 45 50 60. so the mo the highest i paid for one was about 80 australian dollars which is still like a lot of money for a dress i guess if you think about it but for the brand um, and the designer name, it definitely was a lot better than spending $600 for a dress. So I ended up buying six. <laughs> um, so that's exciting. And today what I'm going to do is a try on. Because um, some of these I actually haven't tried on before. And show you guys what they look like. Um, I want to hear which ones are your favorites because I definitely have my favorites. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. So the first dress I'm going to try on is this one. It's one of my favorites. This is the tag it comes with. Um, little fabric um, string that was attached by a pin to the dress. Um, it comes with a Love Shack Fancy by Target card. Um, description on the back about the brand and this. And then on the back it has the price. So this one I got in a size small and it was... 40 US dollars so that came to about I think 60 Australian dollars um, and the name for this one says mixed flow hopefully you can see that um, and I'll show you how it looks so what I love about this one the most is the color I am obsessed with like pinks and pastels and this is a soft ballet pink with some beautiful blue floral print across it I love that it's a modest everyday dress you can wear it in cold or weather because it's got the long sleeves um, on the bottom, it features a three-tiered diagonal ruffle skirt, and underneath the whole dress, it has an inner lining as well, which I love in dresses because obviously that prevents underwear from being seen through the dress, which is great. It has a elastic cinched waist. However, I should have got it smaller because you can see that stretches out a lot, um, but it is very comfortable in stretches. The sleeve also has elastic similar to the waist and the neckline is this beautiful v um, with some pink lace detail on the edge and then it's stitched together there to prevent any opening i wish that they made it a button so you can wear it as a deeper v if you want um, but i might unpick that myself and replace it with a button eventually i love that you can pull the sleeves up and then make them more puffy if you like for more of a dressier look or if that's just you like that girly look um or you can wear it down I also found a pink thick belt that I actually happened to have at home, which was lucky. And I put that in because the waistband is a little bit uh, too loose on me and that helps pull everything in and maybe makes it a bit dressier. You could obviously pair it with any belt, but I just got super lucky this pink matches. So the second one I got is this. Um, and this one on the back says pink multi. I also got this in the size small and it was 55 US dollars.
This one is probably my least favourite. I still really like the colours, especially the yellow. I don't have a lot of yellow and for summer I really like it in a dress in my clothes. Um, however, it is unlined at the bottom. Um, so if this flies up in the wind, then everybody's going to see everything, which is not great. It's also extremely short. That there is kind of where my bottom ends. Um, so as you can tell, it's very, very short. And so I would probably wear some shorts under this or maybe even some pants like leggings or tights under this. The straps can also get very annoying because they are just tie up. So if that comes loose or if somebody pulls on it as a joke, if you're with your friends, your whole dress um, will fall apart. But luckily, the top of the chest is elax elastic, so it will stay up. Um, it is quite tight, so that doesn't fall. So you don't have to worry about that. But the straps still get meddlesome. They move around a lot. And it's really hard to make them symmetric and match and to not have them fly in your face. Um, like I said, the chest is elastic, so that's really great. Because the chest is elastic on this one, if you pull it down and tuck the straps underneath, you can actually make it a skirt. I did have to use a belt, though, because it doesn't sit properly, obviously, because it's not a skirt. Um, but if you pair it with a pink top, a beige top, cream, any kind of neutral, it still looks pretty cute. The third dress I'm trying um, is another one of my favorites. This one is called Blue White. Um, that's what it says. I also got it in a small, and this one was 45 US dollars. This one is a gorgeous white with slight speckles of purple and blue. My favorite part about this dress is the sleeves. I love the ruffled shoulders. It has an elastic cinched waist with a drawstring. Um, that you can tie into a bow however the drawstring doesn't actually tighten tighter than the elastic is and the elastic is quite loose so i wish i sized down in this one too um it has another tiered ruffle skirt at the bottom and it is lined um the bad thing about the portions of this dress and it just happened there is that the sleeves are too long i'm gonna get it altered to shorten there um because as you can see there's just way too much if i pull the dress down it's way too long in the shoulders for me but i do like you can wear the shoulders off the shoulder um, and that gives the dress a completely different vibe. Or you can wear it on, which I think I prefer. It's super playful. I love the ruffles. It's really gorgeous. The dress is done up by a series of buttons. Um, and they're all individual buttons, not snap closures. So you have to um, undo them and do them. I like undoing the top one and wearing it out like that. A little bit more flirty and playful. The fourth dress is probably my second favorite. Maybe my first favorite. Um, and it is called just pink flow. Uh, I got it in size 6 US, uh, which is about Australian 10, um, and it was 45 US dollars. So I know I've been saying that a lot of the dresses are my favorite, but I seriously love this dress. I love the color, I love the design, I love the fabric, the print, everything. I think it's so fun for like a night out or a wedding or a formal party. It's a little dressy. I'm obsessed with the entry, the fact that it has a side hidden zip, so you can't even see it there, but I just ended a bit. And that runs all along the side, so it's easier to get in and out of. I wish all dresses had this. Um, I also love that it has the underlining. Um, obviously, you guys know that. The fabric is really shiny. I think it's a satin. I'm not too sure, but it has a beautiful sheen, and it's very nice to the touch. The deep V neck I love, and the puffy sleeves. It also has belt hooks to keep the ribbon in place so it doesn't ride down um, throughout the day, which is also great. You could also take the ribbon out and replace it with a belt that fits in the belt hooks. The ribbon can also be moved to the center or the side or however you want to tie it if you want to tie it in the back. I love that the sleeves are elastic and you can pull them off the shoulder again and wear it like that, give it a different look. Um, but I probably wear these more on the top just because it gives that beautiful v-neck. So this fifth one might be another favorite um, and I'm just going to stop saying my favorites because they're all my favorites really. I'm starting to realize uh, this one's just called Pink Floral. I got it in the small um, and it was 60 US dollars. I usually don't like maxi dresses because I'm pretty short. I'm 165 centimeters, which is five foot four, I believe. But this one is divine. I'm obsessed with it. Um, it has elastic sleeves like a lot of the other ones do. It has elastic at the bottom of the sleeve as well. So you can pull them down and wear the sleeves slightly less puffy if you want a more practical look. Or you can push them up and then that makes the dress even puffier. You can also pull them off the shoulders like a lot of the other dresses and wear them like that. Or you can do one shoulder on, one shoulder off like one of the models did in the brochure. And you can pull this down too to make it a bit longer. I'm obsessed with this. It's super comfortable and breathable and I just love it. 
the bodice is as well completely elastic all the way through so it's around the breast the chest and the neckline completely elastic so you feel very secure the dress on the other hand is super breezy light and tiered makes me feel a bit like a wedding cake but i love it i want to go dancing in this dress it makes me really happy this last and sixth one is gorgeous and i have no idea where i'm gonna wear it but i loved it so much i couldn't not get it um it just says pink on the tag i got it in the small and i definitely should have got it much smaller and i'll show you why um and this one was 60 dollars us so my very first question with this dress is can i wear it to a wedding please comment down below if you think this is too over the top or if you as a bride would be mad if someone wore this to your wedding because i have a wedding coming up next year and i would love to wear this but obviously don't want to make anyone mad it's another tiered dress that goes down to the ankles in a beautiful soft baby pink my favorite part of this dress is the neckline it is a halter neck and i don't own any halter neck dresses my favorite bit are these knots they add a great bit of detail and the back does up into a be beautiful big bow it is open back um which i don't have any dresses of either and this is why i wish i sized down look how big that elastic is it fits in my whole hand without even stretching out the dress really so i wish i sized down and i wonder if i can alter it but we'll have to see the dress is this beautiful chill material it's got big polka dots and smaller polka dots in between um and it's just a white with pink chill it's super light um it's really breezy it's airy i just i love this dress so i just realized i forgot to film an outro for this video uh today when i was filming earlier and i was just editing it all together and realized that there's no goodbye so thank you for watching um i know that this obviously isn't super professional it is 9 40 at night i'm editing this i'm hoping i can get it up tonight or tomorrow um so this is super casual but i feel like everyone who watches these videos are pretty much my friends anyway or people that then message me on instagram and we connect and we become friends so i'm personally pretty happy to be casual um and myself with you guys but i hope nobody feels like this video is like too unprofessional or like i don't care about it it's just a bit of fun for me anyway thank you so much if you got to the end of this video tell me down in the comments which dress you love the most because i think i have like a top three which is probably the uh hot pink maxi the uh satiny pink like really puffy sleeve one and then the very first one that i wore so really all the pink ones um if you go to my instagram you'll see that i love wearing pink anyway this is going on for a bit long so i'm gonna end thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it and i'll try to give you guys some more videos